In this video, I want to talk a little bit about rounded edge shader in Houdini and how can we use it to create a high resolution mesh for our low resolution objects. So first of all, before we start, what we need to do is put down a normal node to harden up our themes where we want our rounded edge shader. So I took these shapes because there's good variety of them. There are some very obvious places where we can put down around the shader there are some tubes which are also very specific on how you can use around the shader and some not so not so obvious shapes that we can put down around the shader so what I'm going to do is put down normal and remember this object has no UVs this is all just based on the cusp angle of this object after that, you can take a look at how can we bake out and what what's the best place and where to start with the baking. So first of all, I can see that this is not very well hardened up, so I'm going to create a smaller amount of cast angle. So every one of these gets its own face, and here also like that. But of course, very rarely you will create with only one normal the exact object that you want or something like this when there's the tubes you can just put down another normal node so I just duplicate it pipe into the next one and then just select the group select all of these and maybe smooth out more so you get all these edges and for the back of it we can let it be like that or you can just also duplicate it again Let's just select the part that we want to actually be smoothed out like that. Now just increase it. Now we have smoothed out all of these like that, and all this has stayed the same. Now let's say this is our optimal way we want to smooth out our mesh. Let's put down a quick lapse, quick material. Put down a render flag, and there is an option for around the shader. Enable it and put something like 64 at the end. Now let's just go to the mount renderer, put down the scene you want, and click on render. Let's take a look at our around that shader. So let's zoom in maybe to this one. You can see we are getting this nice high resolution detail where the hard seams are being smoothed out let's take a look at this one so how can we check our hard seams let's say we want to disable this normal that we smoothed out this back of this circle so what I'm going to do is disable this normal as you can see now it's being smoothed also if I increase the amount of smooth you can see this is being smoothed out because this is the hard edge now. So you just put down back and re-enable normal. So it did, it's not being calculated as a smooth mesh. Just being only the edges, hard edges are being counted as. There is also in the quick material there's concave and convex. So for the concave only the outer parts are going to be smoothed out. As you can see kind of like these parts and if we, dis and if we disable this normal you can see that this is not being smoothed out because this is a convex concave it's kind of like inside the it's kind of like hidden one even if we increase it you can see it's not being smoothed out so but if you want to smooth out only these parts you can put down on concave you see the opposite is happening now the only the inner parts of hard edges are being smoothed out and outer ones are not so i'm going to put down back to the both of these maybe small let's take a look at the other ones maybe let's take a look at this one let's put down convex you can see the insides are not being smoothed out now let's take a look at the baking and how to bake out good looking uh, maps from this quick material 
So what I have here is one UV map on the same object where every one of these hardened edges are on its own island and the other one is actually connected each to each other so these all of these are hardened on object but actually they are they are in they are connected in a UV island it makes a huge difference when breaking out so let's take a look so what I have quick material let's pipe into this one if you press on render you can see in a render view warm up a bit like that Maybe like that you can see we can put in both of these and they are basically the same so the UV map does not have any impact on actual smoothing in a viewport so let's break out with these kind of details let's stop this with the separate UV islands quick material high in a quick material and before that this one so now that we're done with breaking out the simple breaker with the separate UV islands you can see we're getting nice result on our smoothed out meshes so we don't have any artifacting around these that's thanks to that we have actually separated UV island for these so now let's break out with the connected UVs so let's put down this in this quick material this and that and now let's break out in our second cube where the UVs are connected you can see these black lines these artifacts around the seams that are not separated on UV island I'm gonna just visually see and I can select them and in the UVs you can see that these lines all of them are how these black artifacting around them because the, these are not separate in the UV islands you can see that there are very small space for it to bake in these round edges that are disconnected model you can see that they are actually padding and there are actually space between them to bake out this one this detail so that's why it looks so weird on a unbaked model now let's take a look at other examples for the first model I have hardened up the edges before the auto UV then I have applied auto UV you can see that hardened edges do not actually align with the UV islands now, that I'm going to, now with the baked result you can see that we are getting still pretty nice result for the for the edges something like this where the the actual well the angle between the edges is not actually all that big you see we're getting a little bit of this artifact but nothing too noticeable and from the distance you wouldn't notice it any, anyway but in the second one actually let's take a look in the second one what I have done is created these groups I have hardened them up then I have UV exactly by the groups and after that I have put down a soft and normal node and hardened by the UV seams so basically these two objects are the same sh shading the only difference is that this actually follows the shading these UV islands actually follow the hardened edges and these two and these do not you see that these two bigger islands and these two big but in this every one of these are actually its own island so let's take a look at what's the difference oh and also one else before let's take a look at these edges you can see that we get a little bit of this little bit of this kind of weird edge but in this one it's it's basically the same this is maybe a little bit worse but actually no but for this example there's not really much of a difference but in this angle you can see that there's actually quite a bit of a difference this black border but in reality you won't really see it from the distance and also it's smaller smaller difference between these edges because of the actual angle between the polygons so it's not very noticeable but I, what I have done in this is actually in the UV flatten I have fused together these three islands 
And as with the cubes, you can see that they're actually pretty nasty looking artifacts around the fused together islands. So we definitely do not want these kind of effects. So make sure you have different UV islands for these hard edges like this. Another thing I wanted to show is that we want the same shading for both high and low models. So if you take a look what I have this setup. So this is our base auto UV of the first model. And in the low model, probably what I have done is harden up these seams. Now let's bake, up, bake them out. Just put them on a 512. So that the rendering is a little bit faster. And let's disable normal now. You can see we're getting this artifacting. This will would be even more visible when you put on resolution higher it's because we do not want this model to be exported because there are hard seams right at the place where we can see them so and if you bake out this the actual detail will be baked out on a normal map i just baked out the same model only with 2k texture once i disable this you can see we get this really ugly artifacting around normal map it's the same even if you put it in a high. Before baking, what you can do is also explode this mesh. But one thing, if you have all the connected geometry, like here, and there are some, like, the polygons are very close to each other, what you can do is go to the baking, advanced, and there are the ray distance, put it to not negative 1, but 0. Then if you render it out, You can see that it's cleaned up very nicely. One last thing I want to talk about is hiding the seams. So what I have in here is set up. After that I have put down a normal node, which, which is basically just a way for me to say where I want these rounded edge shader. After the auto UVs, you can see that in these, there are lots of seams along the actual circular shape. So if I put down a soft normals and hard the new seams, you can see there are lots of seams in here. So if we would be if we would actually be hardening with soft normals, these all seams would be also baked out. So what I'm gonna do is disable the soft normals and just bake out with just auto UV. You can see that these seams are not visible. In a second example, what I have done is hardened all the UV seams on both high and low. And when I go to the baking, you can see that round shader is trying to smooth out all of the UV seams that I hardened. So what I like to do is just manually harden up the seams and without the UV, without soft and normals, bake out. So we could actually hide the seams that we do not want to see. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you found something in it useful. See you later and take care.